Hi everybody, it's Jeff. Uh, it's time for part six of the Mini Art U.S. Armored Tractor or Bulldozer in 135th scale. I've got a bunch of pieces all cut out and ready to go again. Um, got some parts for the frame that uh, need to be modified. It's real easy to do. I'll show you that. And uh, I've got a couple other real delicate little parts that uh, pipes and things that have basically just fallen apart in my hands. I think they were broken in the kit. One I actually am missing a piece. Uh, I'll probably recreate it with wire. Or maybe, maybe some lead wire, maybe some copper wire. We'll just see. But anyway, uh, let's go down the bench and I'll show you what I got going on, okay? Be right back. Thanks. Okay. I put everything in these containers just to make sure they don't get damaged. Here's our engine. Radiator. And transmission from before. I want to make up this frame and kind of see how everything sets in there before I go much further. Uh, let's take a look at the instructions real quick, okay? Okay, uh, here's where we left off. The parts that are in green have all been put together. In uh, step 17, we've got to put the transmission uh, transmission and engine together, and there's some more little linkages. There's actually a little piece of PE I haven't even I haven't cut that out yet. It's really delicate, so I'll do that probably very last thing before I do some painting. Okay, and then 18, there's some really fine oil lines and things that go in. Now these, uh, one of them was damaged, it was broken in three pieces, still on the sprue. So I put it back together. I haven't completely finished cleaning it up yet. But um, I want to check and make sure it fits okay before I do. Um, I may replace these with lead wire. The sad part about it is is that once the once the uh, pipes come out of these this uh, oil filter here, you see just the very end of it and then it all disappears behind the frame and you don't see it again. Even the part that you see here that connects to the radiator farther on is going to be covered by the by the grill in the front. So I'm debating about the best way to do that. And then there's two little supports for the radiator and one of those is about half of it is completely missing. It snapped off in the kit and I, I can't find it anywhere. And then we've got 19 which is this box that would uh, house the differential. It'd be over here. So I want to put this box together first. And I've got these two uh, frame rails that I need to do a little modification on. And uh, I'll show that to you. I've already done the modification, but I took pictures when I was doing it. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and put this box together. Well, let me show you these modifications first, and then we'll put this box together, okay? All right. Let's set this stuff up here to be looked at in a little bit. Okay. Here's our frame rails right here. Okay, we got a left and a right. And there's a get rid of the glasses here. Let me see if I can bring this down closer. Okay, there's a, well, see, I didn't even finish this one yet. I did the hole, but there's a, there's a place here that needs to be cut out like this. Okay, this one here's been done. That one is not. It doesn't take a second to do it, but I'll put some pictures up, of, you know, before and after. Uh, in fact, as I'll do that now. I'll put the befores on the left and I'll put the afters on the right, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and modify this one. It's real thin here on the edge and it doesn't take much to remove that. Let me 
grab a knife here. What I generally do, I'll grab a block where that block needs cleaned, just for a nice stable surface here. And we just need to cut down right there where it's thin. and remove that plastic. The knife blade is really sharp. I know, it shouldn't be cutting toward me. And that's pretty much all. A little more clean up. Okay, that should be good. That's what the instructions want you to do. And we've got this little hole here that has to be put through. So the holes have been done on both of them and the little notches have been done on both of them. So that's the modifications. Let's go ahead and get this box assembled. Okay. Let's back this up just a little bit hard to work when you got the camera right in front of you. This is for the uh, differential. Okay, the first thing I need to do is on this here, I'm just looking at my instructions. I'm not sure just why they did it this way, but um, let's see, we're going to be looking at it like this. They don't want me to glue in B40 and B41 yet. Uh, I think because there's going to be a pipe connection here later for ease of alignment and things they want to go ahead and leave that and that's actually the wrong one this is the right one they're they're very similar but they are different so we'll have to try and be real careful not to glue those in Okay, you can see them down there. Okay, and then this goes over the top of that. It should go this way. Okay, and make sure those are both free to turn. Try real hard not to get carried away with the glue. These parts actually don't fit really tight. There's a little bit of a gap there. Sure. Okay. Okay. I think that's going to do it. Just want to make sure these are still free to turn. And that one is not. Did I get glue in it? No. Okay. It's just a little snug. Where did I? Yeah, I did get some glue in it. The best thing to do when you have a part that has glue in it is to keep moving it. And eventually the glue will dry But the part will still move. It's hard to explain, I guess. Let's 
just doesn't want to stay in. Just keep moving it. Eventually, I think it'll be all right. Okay, that should be good. Okay, let's move on here. Okay, we need to make sure we're oriented the correct direction. And then we got this. To go here. Doesn't really have a good positive location. Okay. Put a little glue here and here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Get the other side on. That's the top. This is going to be kind of the same way. Not terribly positive locating pins or anything. Got a bad thumbnail there. That, that thumbnail never, never goes right. I don't know what it is about it. Sorry, just concentrating on what I'm doing. Okay. And then we have the top. Go in 
inside of there. Guess that will go on top. Once again, not really good locating marks. We'll see when this uh, attaches to these parts, how well it fits. Trying to get everything lined up just right. Minimize the cleanup later. Okay, this is the the test. This will fit here. Okay, looks pretty good. Might require just a tiny bit of work closing these gaps up. Keep working at it till you're happy with the results. Looks pretty good. I got a little gap here. Okay, and then this side. Looks really good. Like they say with mini art, usually if it don't fit you done something wrong because mini art generally fits pretty well.
joints are so tight I can hardly tell where they are which is good save clean up later this is going to be kind of the central part too because the, you know, everything else connects to this so it's important that this is nice and strong and square goes on top I want to make sure I put it on the correct direction fact is there's a seam that goes around this that I might like to clean up before I glue that on so I think I'll glue that let it set and then I'll come back and sand it later and clean it up before I attach it I'm going to let that set. You were already at over 20 minutes. Um, I really don't want to be bumping this too much until it has a really good chance to set up. We can just kind of quickly kind of see how this is going to look in here. I'm thinking it's going to sit right about there. Yep. Yeah, that'll look really good. It's very well. I'm just trying to think now about painting. How far I want to go with assembly before I think about painting. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this alone and let it set up real good and then I'll look over the joints and things and then the next time we'll get some pipes put on and figure out just what we want to do. Here's the oil lines here and I uh, this one here was in three pieces. So I put it back together. I haven't cleaned up the real fine, fine nibs on there yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or if I'm going to go ahead with wire or something. And then here's the little radiators. No, these are, uh, these are a couple of other parts I haven't cleaned up yet that go on top of the engine. And then here's the radiator supports and there's actually half of one of them completely missing so I think I'm gonna call it good for today guys that goes right there something along those lines but I'm gonna clean it up before I put it on alright that's gonna do it for today I think you guys have a great day I'll put a couple of pictures up at the end and we'll talk to you real soon see you later bye bye